Okay, these are some homework problems. Um, exercise 3.11, um, question 9. The first, this question is to find the area enclosed between the curve y equals x bracket x squared minus 2 to the power of 4 and the x-axis. Okay, now a sketch of this diagram. Now to sketch this diagram, um, you'll need to put you look for x-intercepts, so we're going to substitute y equals 0 to find the x-intercepts, and we get 0 equals x bracket x minus 2 to the power of 4. Therefore, we've got two solutions, x is 0 and x is 2, are our x-intercepts. Sketch. We've got a um, single root at x is 0, because that's just x to the power of 1, and at x is 2, we have... Actually, um, I'll just, sorry, that's x squared minus 2 to the power of 4. Sorry, that's not right. So we've got that x is 0 and x squared, sorry, and, and x squared minus 2 equals 0. Therefore, x equals plus or minus the square root of 2. Okay, sorry, I just didn't realise that. So that's what our, um, our curve looks like. Or well, that's where our x-intercepts are. If we look at this function... Um, we've got some roots, we've got a root at root 2, we've got a root at 0, and we've got a root at negative root 2. Now, I'm not sure exactly how the function is going to look. For example, I mean, we can work out, for example, what the, the y-intercept is. So, for example, when x is 0, um, 0 times negative 2 to the power of 4, y is also 0, okay? And we can just... Um, substitute some values, for example, to get an, um, a bit of a shape. We know that when, say, x is 1, um, we can work out what y is. So we've got 1 minus 2 is negative 1 to the power of 4 is 1. Um, 1 times 1 is 1. So when x is 1, y is 1. Okay, so the curve goes like that. Also, when x is negative 1, y will also be negative 1 if we look here. So when x is negative 1, you get 1 minus 2 is negative 1 to the power of 4 is positive 1 times um, negative 1 is negative 1. And we know that when x is root 2, it's 0. Also when x is negative root 2, it's 0. And when you see curves like this x squared minus 2 to the power of 4, it sort of has the same shape. It will bounce off the x-axis the same way that um, a squared when you have a double root. So, for example, if I look at, um, we know that root 2 is 1.4 roughly. If I substitute when x is 2 in here, I get 2 squared is 4. 4 minus 2 is 2. 2 to the power of 4 is um, 16 times 2 is 32. I get quite a large value. So it comes back right up there. So it looks like the curve is going to look something like this. Now, down here we've got negative 1. Um, when it's negative root 2, we get um, y is 0. And if you look at the point negative 2, you would get um, negative 2 squared is 4 minus 2 is 2 to the power of 4 is 16 times negative 2. We've got negative 32. Now, look, the curve looks like that. Now, you might look at that and you say, well, I think that that's an odd function, that it's got point symmetry about the origin. So I'm just going to check if it is an odd function. We know that the function of x is x bracket x squared minus 2 to the power of 4. So function of minus x will be negative x times negative x squared minus 2 to the power of 4, which is negative x times x squared minus 2 to the power of 4. And that is the same as minus x bracket x squared minus 2 to the power of 4, which is actually the same as minus function of x. So therefore, function of minus x equals function of, minus function of x. Therefore, we've got an odd function. So if we've got an odd function, then um, we've got point symmetry. Okay? So if we... Yeah, so if we've got an odd function, we've got point symmetry. In other words, this area here is um, the same size as this area there. Okay? So if I want to find the area enclosed between that curve, this curve here, and the x-axis. Look, this goes on to infinity up here, so you're not going to be able to work out what this is. It's this bit here um, and that bit there. That's the area enclosed by that curve in the x-axis. So therefore, to do the area here, we would need to do the integral 
between root 2 and 0. Now that's going to be the same, um, the area here, area 1, equals area 2. So we know that area 1 is equal to area 2. So therefore the total area will be 2 times the integral from root 2 to 0 of our function of x times x squared minus 2 to the power of 4 dx. Okay? So it's 2 times area number 1. That will be area 1 and 2 combined. So now we can just do that by um, integration with substitution. So you can just do what you normally do. You'll let u equal x squared minus 2. And if you can pause the video now and finish it off and then restart when you're ready, okay? Um, then we get du dx is 2x. So therefore du is 2x dx. But we don't want 2x dx. We just want x dx. So du over 2 is x dx, okay? Now it looks like we've got a substitution for u. We've got a substitution for x dx. The only thing is we need to work out the new integral values. So when u, sorry, no, when x is root 2, we work out what u is. u is root 2 squared minus 2. So that's 2 minus 2 is 0. And when x is 0, u is 0 squared minus 2, which is negative 2. So therefore, you'll need to do, I'm just going to turn over the page, So the integral from root 2 to 0 of x times x squared minus 4dx is the same as the integral. Um, root 2 is now 0 and the 0 is negative 2. And we're trying to replace um, the x squared minus 2. Now that is u to the power of 4. And x dx is du on 2. So we can take this 2 out. So we've got a half integral between 0 and negative 2 of u to the 4 du and now we just work that out. So we get a half times u to the power of 5 over 5 substituting in the values of 0 and negative 2 and we get a half. Um, if you put 0 in there you get 0 minus negative 2 to the 5 over 2. Now negative 2 to the power of 5 is negative 32, but it's um, 0 minus negative 32 on 5, so it's 32, positive 32 on 5. And we end up with 32 on 10, which is 3.2 units squared because we want the area. Okay, here's question 10. Now we have to find the area bounded by the curve um, y equals x times x squared minus 4 to the power of 3 and the x-axis. Again, we're going to need some sort of sketch. So um, to find x-intercepts, we're going to put y equals 0. So for x-intercepts, we're going to put, put y equals 0. And we know, therefore, that x is 0 or x squared minus 4 is 0. In other words, that x squared is 4 or x is plus or minus 2, okay? So we've got three x-intercepts, we've got x-intercepts at 0, we've got an x-intercept at 2, and we've got an x-intercept at negative 2. Now we have to look at sketching the function. Okay, just going to do what we did before, substituting in some values, um, finding the x in, the y-intercept now, so when x is 0, we get 0 times whatever this might be, doesn't matter what it is. 0 times negative 64 is going to be 0. 
So the um, y-intercept is zero. Okay, um, just a quick idea when x is one, what, um, what y might be. Okay, now we've also got this cube thing here. See, x squared minus four really, actually I'm gonna rewrite this out. That's x minus two, x plus two, and they're both cubed. So what we've actually got is a triple root at x, at, um, x is two, and a triple root at um, x is negative two. Remember triple roots look like inflections through those roots. And we've got a single root at x is zero. So all we've got to do is really see whether the curve's going up like that or down like this. We can do that by substituting in some values. So I'm gonna substitute when x is one. So if x is one, I get here, I get one minus three is negative three to the power of three is negative 27 times one. I get negative 27, that's obviously very large, so it's down here somewhere. And we know that when x is two, y is um, zero. And we know that we've got a triple root here at x is two, and x is negative two, so it must look like this, okay? So the curve looks something like that. Again, I'm suspecting that this is um, an odd function again. Let's look when x is negative one, we get negative one squared is one minus four, that's negative 3 to the power of 3 is negative 27 times negative 1. We get positive 27, so it's roughly, obviously this is not to scale. And then we've got that um, triple root again at negative 2. So if we just have a quick look at what the function of x is, function of x is x times x squared minus 4 cubed, function of minus x, so if you replaced each x with the negative x, you'd get minus x now. Um, negative x squared is just x squared minus 4 to the power of 3. And now that is just the same as pulling out that negative. And it's just the same as the negative function of x. So therefore we've got an odd function because function of minus x equals minus function of x. So just um, the same as the other question. Therefore your area bounded by the that curve, this curve here, and the x-axis, Area 1 is going to be the same as area 2, so therefore area 1 equals area 2. So therefore your area is going to be 2 times the integral from 2 to 0. Okay, now remember this goes on forever, it's infinite, so you're not going to find any area here bound by the x-axis, all right? So into 2 times the integral from 2 to 0 of x times x squared minus 4 cubed dx. Now you can pause the video and finish that off, okay? And I'll just go, and then you can restart when you're done, okay? Again, letting u be x squared minus 4. So du dx is 2x, but we want x dx, so du on 2 is x dx. You've got your substitution for u, okay? The x dx is done and you just need to change your limits. So um, when x is two, what is u? It would be two squared minus four, it would be zero. And when x is zero, what's u? u is zero minus four is negative four. So therefore your question, therefore your area is gonna be two times the integral. Now replacing the two and the zero with the zero and the negative four and your x squared minus four gets replaced with u cubed, and your x dx gets replaced with du on two. Now if we put that two out the front, we've got two on two, which is one. Zero, integral from zero to minus four of u cubed du. And so that one's fairly straightforward, it's just u to the four over four, between the values of zero and negative four. So you get zero, take away, negative four to the power of four over four, and that's just um, negative, it's, it's just four cubed. It's negative four cubed, because that's four to the one, and negative negative four cubed is positive four cubed, which is um, 64. So therefore your area is 64 units squared. Okay, and those are um, questions nine and 10 from exercise 3.11.